Saturday night. That means it's time for the one and only Headbangers Ball with me. Coming up in just a bit. Love them or hate them. You know you want to know more about them. I'm talking about the darkness. They'll be here all the way from the UK, so you've got to stay tuned for that. You know, they, those guys are really bringing back the guitar solos and the theatrics of bands that we loved years ago. But if you've just written them off as a hair band, stick around, find out what they're really about. All right, to get you ready, here's their second video from their debut album, Permission to Land. Here they are, the darkness would get your hands off my woman. Headbangers Ball. Welcome, guys. Glad to have you here. Their debut album is called Permission to Land. Go check that out if you haven't already. So, number one in the UK charts, above Iron Maiden. How does that make you feel? I mean, you guys are number one. Ma makes us feel tall. <laughs> does it? <laughs> really? Tall, it? Yeah, quite sizable. And um, the Iron Maiden thing is a shame, really, because it's part of the resurgence of a special kind of rock. And uh, I mean, it was it was an honour to beat them, but um, I understand how they felt because when we when we came up, we when we first released the album in the UK, it was uh, underneath Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, well, better you than you know Britney yeah. Spears or yeah, yeah. Limp Biscuit or something. Rather mm -hmm. be under Beyonce than uh, Britney Spears. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Oh, boy. So so you think hard rock is making a comeback then, not just in the UK but all over? I mean, you guys have had two huge. I don't think it ever went away. You know, yeah, I, I mean, knew that was going to be your answer. Yeah, well, people always listen to it, haven't they? It's just, I mean, in the pubs and so on, yeah. ju jukeboxes and classic rock radio has never died, has it? And no, it hasn't. It's still, it's still the best kind of music. It's not, even, it's not even a matter of opinion. It is the best kind of music. I agree. <laughs> so you're big Maiden fans, obviously, because we're going to uh, a Maiden video. Any shout-outs, anything you want to say about Iron Maiden? Grow your hair back, Bruce. <laughs> Good. <laughs> right now, here's their classic... Actually, it's not a classic. It's their newest one, Wildest Dreams. Check it out.
watching MTV2's Headbangers Ball. The darkness is here. Permission to Land is the name of their debut CD. Tell us about this video. Everybody's talking about it. It's like it's a huge phenomenon over here in America now. You have fighting uh, sea monsters. Uh, I believe in a thing called love. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> People can't determine whether they're aliens or just <laughs> sea monsters. Like yeah. Yeah. And what's the thing, you know, you were telling me before during the break about that thing that's drying you off. There's two people in yeah, there. Yeah, it's, it was one of the uh, rejects from Never Ending Story. It's, uh, it's two people inside it, and it's like got, haven't got a head. A guy and a bloke, or a bloke and a girl? A bit of both, yeah. It's hard to tell, really. Those two. You'd I think have to be the bottom set of hands person. was the ladies' ones, luckily. So <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, very, very warming. And who came up with the concept? We all did. We, um, in the pub, where British people uh, talk and share ideas Most with our video concept. director. Most of our band concepts happen in the pub. Yeah, over a couple of drinks. Some of our best thinking happens in public houses. We decided we wanted a nautical theme. Nautical, but nice. Nautical. <laughs> nautical, but nice, a nicer space. And the, the crab in it was actually a, a real crab. That, um, <laughs> that you blown up quite a lot. Yeah, all right, well, let's check it out. Here's the darkness. I believe in a thing called love. Welcome back to Headbangers Ball. The darkness is still hanging out with us here. Now, uh, when you guys play live, you seem to incorporate a lot of theatrics and different uh, approaches. Tell us about you know what you have maybe planned for the next tour. Um, well, the next next tour is um, it's especially going to be our raw live show, stripped down, but with a few pyros and whatever. Okay. Well, you toured with Def Leppard, right? So did you, do you have, like, you know, you're not going to have, like, the harem of women underneath the uh, stage or anything like that? Well, when we toured them, they, they had, I don't think you could describe what they had underneath the stage as that, exactly. <laughs> what did they have? Uh, did you pick no, up I think I'd, I'd call it a, a buffet table with a few cheese sandwiches on it. <laughs> <laughs> they had their buckets of just weird behind the amps. Yeah, they did, actually. I saw Phil Collin uh, pissing behind. Really? Uh, yeah. And then... Uh, you pick up things like that. It's a good system. They've set so long. Mm. Yeah. They got it going. Yeah. They need to detox halfway through it. <laughs> and uh, what about wardrobe? You know, I'm in a band. You know, should I, you think you should maybe give me some fashion advice? I mean, mm -hmm. maybe get a one piece. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working for you. <laughs> That's right. As long as you're happy. This is basically what I wear. As long as you're happy on the inside, you can be as angry as you like on the out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so back to the videos. Here's one from Nevermore called Enemies of Reality. Welcome back to the Headbangers Ball. We've been hanging out with the darkness. So before you go, give us a little taste of what's next for you. Uh, touring, DVD, whatever. Oh, um, got to go to Toronto, play show there. Got to go to Australia, do the whole big day out tour. And then we've got a European tour. Then we'll come back here, touring. Especially, March, is right? it, yeah, yeah, mid-March. And it's going to be a, a year of solid touring and being men. Yes. Lots of being men. Good, good. All right, so we're going to go to a classic video from Queen. Obviously, you guys are compared to them all over the press, but are you influenced? Yeah, we're influenced well? by them. We're friends with them as well. Really? The surviving members uh, often appear at our shows. Uh, yeah, Brian May's a good mate. Cool, cool. But I will point out that uh, the bass is highly out of tune in this. On the album version, anyway, I don't want the videos. Okay. Like so this song, the bass is out of tune with Queen. Here's the, here they are with their video for Tie Your Mother Down. Queen wrapping up tonight's show with Tie Your Mother Down. Thank you once again to The Darkness for hanging out. But before we go, tell us real quick about what Bon Jovi should call their next tour. And um, 
Fun show is called next to the Antiques Roadshow. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in a positive way. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I can't wait to see that bloke out at Adam McBeal kicking ass again. Come on. Go on, John. <laughs> and uh, getting arrested. You got arrested. Yeah. Got or arrested. detained, rather. Yeah. Because there's a bloke called Justin Hawkins in Atlanta, Georgia, who does naughty things that that might be considered crimes in some states. Like murdering folk and that. Uh, Give yourself up, Justin. It's yeah, but the thing is, far too long creating problems. The thing is, I, I, I'm in a band, and I think that's a slightly different threat, really. It's yeah. Just, it's lock up your daughters and your sons and your pets. Beyond that, I'm not going to hurt anybody. Okay. Things are obviously looking up. Because last year we couldn't even get arrested over here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, check out The Darkness' um, debut album, Permission to Land. Come back next Saturday. I will be here at 10 p.m. Eastern for another Headbangers Ball. Got a great show for you, As I Lay Dying and Hymns are both going to be here with me as well. I will see you then. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.